Today we're going to be talking about some special right triangles. And these right triangles are going to come up in not only this math class, but many, many more of your other math classes. There's two special right triangles. The first of them is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And there's a special ratio between all of the sides. So because a 45, 45, 90 triangle is isosceles, let's name the two congruent legs A. Let's try and find the hypotenuse. For right now, I'm going to call it C, but let's try and find it in terms of A. So let's use our Pythagorean theorem. So C squared is the sum of the squares of the two legs. I have two of them. So I square root both sides. So therefore I'm left with a C. Square root of A squared is A root two. So our third side or our hypotenuse is each one of the legs times root two. So the equation is for the length of the hypotenuse is root two times the length of the leg. Or how I sometimes remember it is in our 45, 45, 90 triangle. This is one, one, root two. The other special triangle that we're going to have is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So 30, 60, 90 triangle. If I basically reflect this triangle over to the other side, so I have a 60 degree angle there, another 30, we're going to have an equilateral triangle. We often call this side opposite the 30 degree side A. So therefore, this piece over there is A. Since this whole big triangle now is now isosceles and equilateral, I apologize, and equilateral, the hypotenuse of our 30, 60, 90, let me highlight that 30, 60, 90. We're just talking about this triangle, but we're using the big equilateral triangle <clears throat> to get the other sides. This is going to be 2A since it's equilateral. Now let's find this leg. So 2A squared is equal to A squared plus, I'm going to call it B for now, but we're going to find it in terms of A. So that's 4A squared equals A squared plus B squared. Subtract A squared from both sides because I'm solving for B squared. I square root both sides. So I get B in terms of A, A root 3. So our third side is A root 3. Now you can choose to memorize the equations. For the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg, and the longer leg, the side opposite the 60, is going to be root 3 times the shorter leg. For what you can remember, this is how I personally remember it. This is our 30 degrees, this is our 60. It's as easy as 1, 2, root 3. The smallest of those numbers is 1. So that side goes opposite the 30 degree side. The largest of those numbers is 2. So that's the hypotenuse. And we're left with root 3. Now remember, by the angle-angle similarity postulate, all 30, 60, 90 triangles are going to be similar to this triangle. So that's all I have to remember. And same thing with the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let me do an example to show you how this all works. Find the values of the variables x and y. Give the answer in simplest radical form. So we have x and y. What I do is I draw a little triangle up in the corner. And remember, this 30, 60, 90 triangle that I'm drawing is going to be similar to the one that we're given. <clears throat> remember, 30, 60, 90 triangles is as easy as 1, 2, root 3. The side opposite the 30 degree is 1, because that's the smallest of the numbers. The largest side is the hypotenuse, and that's 2. The other side is root 3. So then, what I do is I set up a proportion. So say I'm solving for x. x in our big triangle over 1, because that's the side opposite the 30 degree side. 
is equal to 8 over the side opposite the 60, which is root 3. Now I cross multiply. 8 equals x times root 3. I divide by root 3 because I'm solving for x. We always want everything in simplified radical form. So what I do is I multiply, I rationalize the denominator, multiply by root 3 over root 3. So that is 8 root 3 over 3 is going to be x. Now, if you remember, once you found the smallest side, which is 8 root 3 over 3, the hypotenuse is always twice of that. So y is twice the small, shortest leg, which is 8 root 3 over 3. So that's going to be 16 root 3 over 3. Now our 45, 45, 90 triangle. And again, what I remember is I remember this triangle here. And I'm going to draw it so that it looks the same as the one we're given. It's 1, 1, root 2, where those sides are equal. So x and y are going to be equal, so all I have to do is find one of them. So I set up my proportion, x over 1 is equal to 10 over root 2, x root 2 equals 10, I divide by root 2, then I multiply the top and bottom by root 2, because I need to rationalize the denominator, 10 root 2 over 2, the 10 and the new cancel to get 5 root 2, so x and y both equal 5 root 2. Now the next problem, and I took this problem from the book. So we need to find the perimeter of that, and they give us one side. And we want this in simplest radical form. Well, I have a 30 degree angle. If I could somehow, from this vert vertex, draw in a perpendicular, now I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, just this small blue one here. But let's look at that. If I do 105 minus 60, that's going to be 45. So the perpendicular here, this angle is 45, this angle is 45. So therefore, I have two of my special triangles being butted up against each other. So let's look at our 45, 45, 90 triangle. This one right here. The hypotenuse is 8. So let's solve for x, which is both of those sides. So I have 8 over root 2 is equal to x over 1. Well, okay, 8 over root 2 is equal to x. If I simplify that radical, I have 8 root 2 over 2, or 4 root 2. So therefore, this side is equal to 4 root 2. This side is also equal to 4 root 2. I needed that side because I need to find the perimeter or the length of this side and that side. Well, look at that. In my 30, 60, 90 triangle, I found the shortest side. So therefore, the hypotenuse is twice of that. Now. This side, why? Why? Since I know the shortest side, that's going to be the shortest side times root 3. I can combine those radicals into 4 root 6. Now I'm looking for perimeter. So I just add all the sides together. I have 8 plus 4 root 6 plus 8 root 2, 4 root 2 is 12 root 2. I cannot combine the 4 root 6 and the 12 root 2, so I am done with our problem. 
there are your lesson questions for the day.